Hey everybody. So it's Liz from Northern Bell Farms. I am pretty tired. I have been spending the last two days processing pumpkins. Um, we have been making pumpkin pies. Um, I just wanted to show y'all how we do it. Um, this will probably be over the next, you know, couple days thing. Um, right now I am putting this last pumpkin into the pressure cooker. Um, but this is going to be my last batch of this for tonight. Um, Instapot. Uh, we put it on steam vegetable, turn it on. It takes seven minutes from when it pressurizes. So really only like ten minutes per thing. Um, then it comes out. I set it on the counter, probably move it a little bit because it's hot. Um, and then I scoop it out into the food processor where I put um, a little sugar into it, uh, blend it up, put it into this colander which sits in this bowl um, because um, most people say that you can't use, uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkins to make, um, pies. And this is for a couple reasons. One reason would be, um, because, uh, pie pumpkins have a higher sugar content, so that's why they're better for pies. Um, these we just need to add sugar. Um, it also helps bring the water out when we add the sugar to it um so that's why it sits in the colander over here like this um overnight so it can drain um now as i'm doing this it takes me an hour or two to do it so i keep dumping it out as i'm doing it um i dumped it out this morning and now it's the next night and i'm dumping it out again so i have this yogurt Please be quiet. Please stop. I have this yogurt container. Um, that's it's a yogurt strainer, so you can make um, yogurt. Um, so it's got this strainer insert, and it goes in here. So I will leave it in here until I'm ready to make it into the pie, which I'm going to do later when the TV's off, you know, when the kids are asleep. Or at least laid down. But I have... Look at this one. Ready? Okay, here is this bowl that had most of the puree in it. Ready? There's like almost two cups of pumpkin liquid in there. So now I'm going to put them back in the fridge and continue to let them drain. I'll go like this. And I still have those other two pumpkins that I gotta cut up and then I will make a video later I have to go out to the garden and plant some seeds so just reminded me of the second reason um, Freya came out crying last night when I went to make the video um, but that's the second reason why and the last reason why you wouldn't want to make pumpkin pie out of jack-o-lantern pumpkins is if you didn't grow them or you don't know where you were getting them from and they're not organic um, they could have sucked up a lot of pesticides and been sprayed with a lot of pesticides and maybe even some dangerous, you know, not knowing. Since people don't eat them and that's not what they're made for, um, you don't know what went on them or in them. So that's a third reason why you may not want to um, eat it. So the sugar content, the water content, and if you didn't grow it and you know it's not organic or don't know if it's organic or not, I wouldn't eat it either. So... Those are the three reasons why people usually say, you know, 
just get pie pumpkins, but this is what we have, so we're using what we have so we don't waste it. Um, it's been in the 80s, of course, so pumpkins aren't lasting, so I'm trying to get what I can out of them before we end up throwing a bunch away. I threw away six yesterday. Um, someone came and bought three more. Uh, somebody asked about pumpkins today, but nobody showed up, so we'll see. I think I have eight left, so that's not bad. Um, I gotta go check them later, poke them, I'll probably bring two or three more inside, and that'll only be five left, so we'll see how far it gets me. Uh, it seems as though in the fridge I probably have enough for four to six pumpkin pies. I'll make that video tonight or tomorrow night whenever I get a chance, and um... Uh, yeah, so and I'll show you the rest of the processing for the pumpkins to get to the point of pumpkin pumpkin puree because I remember I only showed you bits and pieces of the Instapot and the other stuff. So, so later, guys. After you have your pumpkins come out of the Instapot or your pressure cooker or steam basket or however you decided to turn your pumpkins into puree. Um, you can put them into a food processor. We have just this little food processor that's someday I hope to have a big one. Um, but this is my mom since she left it here so we just use that. Um, so and we process it down into this pumpkin puree um, I do sprinkle like two tablespoons of sugar into it it also helps bring out the uh, liquid uh, and then I stick it into you could use a colander over a bowl or um, a cheesecloth and a bucket or a pot and you could set your pumpkin puree if you're using pie pumpkins you probably can skip this part because they won't be as watery as um bigger pumpkins but bigger pumpkins hold more water so you do want to strain it out so you want to put your pureed pumpkin in some kind of strainer with a bowl and put it in the fridge overnight and then you take it out the next day and you can add anything you want cinnamon sugar spices stir it up mix it up but you're getting ready to make your pie guts so each pie kitchen scale each pie you want to put um 15 ounces which is one of those regular pureed cans if you're not going to do it homemade you can also do one 15 ounce can so we'll do this and then we tear it out so that it's at zero. And we'll put this in the bowl until we get to 15 ounces. It's 10, 14, 9, But there's only like a scoop in here. Probably like four ounces, so I'm just gonna add it in. Let's see. Five ounces, okay. So then you take your pumpkin puree. Now mine is like times six, but so I'm just telling you the basic for one pie on what you do. What I'm actually doing is for six pies, but what I'm saying is per recipe for one. You want your pumpkin pie insides to be warm. When you go to put them in the oven, you don't want to put ice cold pie insides into the warm oven so I've heated up my puree on the stove then I'm going to add
pumpkin pie spice. Oh, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. A quarter to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon. Again, this is for six that I'm doing. I'm telling you for one. Mix it up. Then you want either a can of condensed milk or I'm going to show you how to make sweetened condensed milk, um, which will just level up your pumpkin pie tastiness to have more homemade elements. Um, so the sweetened condensed milk, or if you want, you could add a one fourteen ounce can or your homemade cup and a quarter of sweetened condensed milk, which I haven't made yet, so I'm not adding, hang on. And then you want two eggs and one egg yolk. Now my puree is warm, not too hot when I add the eggs or else you'll end up with scrambled egg chunks and that would be gross. So, we just want warm pumpkin pie puree, and we're going to mix. You could whisk or mix. You could even put it into, a, like, a KitchenAid mixer and stir it up. We got egg seasoning. I'm going to add sweetened condensed milk after I show you this next clip of how to make it. And then it'll be ready to pour into your pie shell. I did buy pre-made pie shell just because I can't be superwoman this time. So, but obviously a homemade pie crust would be way better. So your preferred pie crust, you can pour it into and all of that should fit into a, a nine inch, but I usually do a 10 inch and then leave room on the top for uh, some kind of cool whip whipped cream, cream cheese frosting, something to go on it. So here's our pie filling. You want to pre-bake your pie crust. Bake your pie crust for 10 minutes in the oven with pie weights, beans, or if you don't want to, I didn't put anything on my pre-made ones and they didn't rise up too much when I took them out after 10 minutes. I just pushed the middle down anywhere they were puffed up. Um, and then you put it in the oven, depending on if it was a 9 or a 10 inch, anywhere from on how your oven goes. Um, I do 350. My oven runs a little hot, so you could do 350, 375 for um, 25 to 35 minutes and just check it at 25 minutes and it should be set. Um, you could do the knife method. I don't like, um, usually when I put a knife in it still comes out a little bit gooey because by when I take it out of the oven it finishes cooking on top of the stove just because our oven seems to run way hotter. But So ours goes for at 350 for 30 minutes about. I usually set it for 25 and check at 25 and it usually needs just a little bit more for the center of the pies. But that's how you make that and then I will show you when we got the pies coming out of the oven. Earlier I almost started doing this without y'all and I just made caramel that I should have made into a video but I'm sure I'll have to make more because I have to let that cool and see what the weight is because um, my friend Anna, who owns Billy's Botanicals, um, she does a farm bag where she collaborates with all the local farmers and gets them to put something into her farm bag. Um, 
and then she'll put out a, a $25 per one for customers to purchase on Thursdays and then a $50 one for customers to purchase on Saturdays and they deliver it so you'll get like on the $25 one you usually get something special and vegetables for the week it usually lasts us when we buy it and then um, on the other one you usually get fish or some kind of meat and eggs and vegetables mushrooms um, kale radishes eggplants whatever's in season it's a really cool idea and it was something that I was trying to do with my farm baskets um, and we can do it we just can't do it really we can only do it in the spring and maybe even in the fall but it's really just the spring that we can do it that we have actually enough stuff because it's too hot and we can't diversify that much just ourselves um but my pan is starting to get hot and i smell it okay um anyways i made caramel she ordered 10 pounds of caramel sauce um so i gotta make that for her she's gonna pick it up later today uh, last week she ordered pumpkin puree, um, so she's really been helping out me and my family, um, getting us some income that we can count on either weekly or bi-weekly, so that helps a lot, um, but I'm going to finish, hopefully, the pumpkin pies today, um, right now I'm going to make the sweetened condensed milk, and what you're going to need for that remember i'm doing something different i'm doing what i need to do to make six to eight pies and i'm telling you the recipe for one okay so i put my pot on and i have um you need three and a half cups oh no you need a quarter cup of heavy cream this is the heavy cream quarter cup of heavy cream and three and a half cups of milk. This one's the older one. Let's see what we can get out of this. I need 21 divided by two, 11 and a half. So you need three and a half. A quarter cup of heavy cream, three and a half cups of milk, and a cup of sugar. You mix it all up and you put it on high heat until it starts to bubble. Um, once it starts to bubble and simmer, uh, once it starts to bubble, you want to turn it down a little to simmer. I say two or three, but that would take way too long for me, so I just do five or six. So I turn it down from medium high to medium. Um, and then really, it needs to cook on that for like half an hour, 40 minutes. And it will condense down, so you'll end up with half the liquid you have, really. Um, it should be about a cup and a quarter-ish. Um, when it condenses down, you'll notice that on simmer, it'll be getting close. When it starts like rapid boiling and it doesn't stop when you stir it, um, you'll feel it, the consistency get a little thicker and you want to keep going um, and cooking it down for another five to eight minutes or so while you can feel it getting thicker. Um, then you want to take it off and stir it a little bit and let it cool down. Um, and when it cools down, it should be the consistency of sweetened condensed milk. Um, which is kind of like corn syrup, I guess. So you want that consistency when it cools down. 
um, and really it takes a while. So my pot over there with, oh, with so much and it's gonna take like two or three hours to condense down. So that'll be my morning. Here's my caramel sauce. Turn the light on so you can see it better. And keep moving it around. All of our stuff is cast iron, so it holds heat and keeps stuff. So this is gonna seem very liquidy for a while, so I keep moving it around on the counter. So it can cool faster. I'm gonna have to stick it in the fridge and see if it's the right consistency. Cause you know, I always like double, triple, quadruple recipes, even though in their normal recipes, that way like I can throw things in the freezer for dinners later and so that sides can be the same way I can have them for later. And you know, it's not just as simple as doubling or tripling a recipe. It's always like you have to tweak it so that there's like less liquid or more ingredients. It's always just a pain. So let's hope that my sweetened condensed milk works, but that's the recipe for that. Um, if you're not gonna use the sweetened condensed milk right away, um, when you cook it up, you can put it in the fridge, uh, save it for later. Uh, make sure it's in an airtight container and it'll probably last close to a month um, and then you can use it. So you could keep it on hand for whenever you have baking, like Thanksgiving, Christmas time. There's always baking going on here around then. So um, it's nice to have just another element of homemade goodness. And you know what's in it. It's three ingredients. So, and I'm not sure... I don't think I have any sweetened condensed milk to read the can, but I assure you it's probably more than three ingredients on the can. Uh, I'm going to drink some coffee, and hopefully I can get out in the garden today. I got lots of stuff to do out there. Um, it got down to 40 degrees last night. It was like 38 degrees. So, hopefully I can get out there and finish planting my stuff and getting ready because I think I might dig up peppers and put them in the greenhouse. We'll see. Gotta go get Odie. Okay. Excuse my mess. It's, it's dinner time, so I gotta cut up these little potatoes. Um, this is leftover barbecue chicken. This is the only thing I've eaten today, and it's 5.30. Um, I am... Took the... Um, condensed milk that I made off the stove and I mixed it in with that um, thing of pumpkin puree um, that I had made up with everything in it the eggs and everything the spices all in it and so this was the last thing that was left um, it was too big for one pot so I put it into two different pans I have my pre-baked pie shells I got four right here Oh, I think I broke one. Fill these pie crusts with this. Then I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes or so and check it. So, of course, we got busy as usual and I forgot to show the pies coming out. Not only did this video take me like three, um, almost four days to film and piece together. So, some things are a little redundant. Um, but I've edited it, edited it, I fixed it the best I could, and, um, that's what it is. Uh, I'm still processing pumpkins. I have two pumpkins left. Um, I'll be making pumpkin cheesecake, um, and then I'm just gonna puree, puree up anything else we have left, and probably put it in the freezer um, because you can't really can pumpkin. Um, you can, you have to make sure the acidity level is right by adding like extra lemon juice and then you have to like test the pH and make sure, I think it's a at like four or 4.5 or 4.7, somewhere around there. Um, but I don't wanna go through all that. I got a lot to do in the garden. 
Um, every day I've just been baking and getting stuff ready. I still haven't gone into the garden to plant my peas, transplant herbs. I got to plant flower seeds. Uh, I got a lot to do out there. Um, but we are going to hang out for the morning because I got toots. Love you, baby. Have a good day at school. Hi, Toots. This is my niece. Is that you? Hi, Valerie. <laughs> Valerie's going to hang out with us for a few days. So, um, I guess we will see you guys on the next one. Uh, look for the pumpkin cheesecake the caramel sauce is coming up next i made a video on the caramel sauce there's probably caramel sauce all over my whole kitchen in one of the videos from doing all that um but we will see you on the next one say don't conform be transformed bye guys